Hello friends, welcome to our channel where I and my better half share our home cooking videos of Indian food which can be prepared in a very simple and easy way. Today we are going to learn how to make go and fish cutlets. It is a starter dish and I am sure all your family members and friends will enjoy it. You will need uh, about two cut onions, it's like half a bunch I would say of coriander leaves half of tomato, ginger and garlic mix. Apart from that, uh, the key recipe which is needed for this canned fish. Uh, I'm using canned fish here because there is no other alternative here because I don't have access to fresh fish. I'm using sardines here. I'll put a link here in my description below so that you can buy it from Amazon or some other websites which it's available. It's also available in some of the grocery stores as well. So this is sardines which are what I'm using right now. This is gram flour uh, also called as basin. About uh, I would say four to five teaspoons of that. Rava what we call or you can also use breadcrumbs if you don't have this. Little bit of spoonful of turmeric, a little bit of chili powder or you, uh, paprika, a little bit spoonful of like garam masala. All right now I'll Pour this sardines in the container. This is lovely. It smells awesome, though. Right. Let's put other stuff in onions. Ginger garlic. Then let's do tomatoes, coriander, like I'll add uh, turmeric, chili powder, a spoonful of garam masala and I'll mix it all together. Just make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before you start using your hands to mix it. You have to add salt to this as well. So let me add some salt. As you can see, it's uh, mixing well, but you can see it is like still kind of little bit disintegrating. And this is when our key ingredient of basin, gram flour, comes into play. So I'll add that. What this will do is like it will give uh, the nice thickness so that you can make it roll it easily you'll understand when i try to fry it it will be nicely sticking to each other as you can see now this is very well mixed and you should do continue doing this as long as you can form this like as long as you can form such small balls Now it is a little bit sticky and now let me try to make it into a small balls if it is possible. See now it is nicely rolling up into a, a ball and it is sticking together. So now as you can see I have made this balls. And what I'll do is, once these balls are all done, I'll try to put that into rava or breadcrumbs and I'll tap it nicely. Once One thing to note here is like once you're tapping it, try to flatten it. This will help with the frying and it will, uh, we will be doing more sort of like a shallow fry. So this will help to fry it evenly. So this is how it should be, so it's like a cookie. Now I've taken an iron skillet uh, and put it on high and I'll add some oil to it. 
I'm using olive oil but you can use any kind of king oil let it get heated up for about a minute or so one way to know whether your oil is heated up enough or not is just use whatever the bread comes a little bit other just try to put it on and you can see it is uh, frying up nicely so i think it is hot um, i'll reduce the flame to medium to medium high and let's start the frying process wow this is awesome about uh, four to five minutes and then we have to flip it over I will just check uh, if it is ready to be flipped uh, let me try and see the first one which I had put in yep it is ready to be flipped over you can see it is like turning golden brown so that is the way you can determine whether it is ready to be flipped or not Again, the same process, wait for two to three minutes for it to get again the same kind of golden color. As you can see now, it is getting nice and crispy and ready. Um, if you tap it, it should be like a little bit hardened. As you can see, it is not yet. Uh, so it is not ready, especially this piece. I think the middle one is almost there. So I'll get it out. And there is a certain way to get it out. There is like too much of oil in here. Once I remove it, I'll put it on the blotting paper so that any excess oil can be steamed off. Now, as you can see, it is all ready now. You can have this with like curry rice, have it with that. It's like a starter and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it a lot. Don't forget to tell me what next go on item you would like to see. I will be more than happy to prepare it and share the recipe with you. Please like, share and subscribe. I would love hearing more from you.